Mr. Sufis. That's for you. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. 29-year-old Kashif Chaudhary is an Ahmadi Muslim. He grew up in Pakistan where he's a minority and the state calls him a non-Muslim because of his faith. English. There you go. This is English. Thank you. I don't uh, uh, call myself a Muslim. Uh, I don't uh, uh, call my place of worship a mosque. Uh, I'm very careful because anything can be given a religious touch and then uh, there can be, um, you know, anger against me. There are 4 million Ahmadi in Pakistan and 200 million in 196 countries all over the world. In 1974, Pakistan introduced a constitutional amendment which declared the Ahmadi non-Muslim. A decade later, an ordinance was issued which criminalized every religious activity of the Ahmadi community in Pakistan. They're banned from saying the azan, which is called the prayer. They're banned from calling themselves Muslims. They're banned for, from calling their place of worship a mosque. Uh, they're banned from posing as a Muslim. Ahmadi Muslims believe that the founder of Ahmadi Muslim community, Mirza Ghulam Ahmad, to be the true Messiah, whereas Orthodox Muslims believe that Muhammad was the final prophet sent to guide the mankind. We believe that the Messiah and, uh, has come, and uh, other Muslims believe that he is still coming, he is yet to come. Religious clerics or mullahs have played a very important role in spreading this hatred in Pakistan. The minority and especially the Ahmadi community has been targeted by religious groups that have very close ties to the Taliban. On 28 May 2010, two Ahmadi mosques were attacked by the members of Pakistani Taliban during Friday prayers. Eighty-six people died and hundreds were injured in these attacks. Kashif fled persecution and came to the United States three years ago. He's a resident at Inglewood Hospital in New Jersey. However, even in this land of the free, he faced Islamophobia and discrimination because he was a Muslim. Kashif volunteers for Muslims for Peace campaign and hopes to change that perception of Islam in the U.S. The Muslims for Peace campaign is spreading the message of Islam and the other thing is uh, uh, just clarifying misconceptions about Islam um, and that's more important in the West. Forty percent of people in a poll recently uh, in America uh, thought that Islam was a violent religion. religion. The Ahmadi community thought that this was the right time to clarify this. And so we took up the Muslims for Peace campaign. Muslims for Peace campaign has already distributed 500,000 flyers in hopes to reach 2 million Americans by October. Members of Muslims for Peace and other American Muslims hope that the death of Al-Qaeda leader Osama bin Laden this week is not only a step towards combating terrorism, but also towards ending Islamophobia in the United States. For NYU Now, this is Malika Arial.